Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua, by Hashem Rekak Wadash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father who we're ignorantly calls God, and His name means He exists. And Yahweh Shai's name was only begotten Son, who the word ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, and His name means He delivers. By Hashem is in the name, Rekak Wadash is the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honor to the apostles and the elders of great millstone who well and who taught me this truth. Peace and blessings to the shit I can just push forward in the truth. Throughout the four corners of the earth, I want to say shalom to your brothers and keep pushing. And a double shalom to the Israelites that look like the other nations. And sincere aquatium. I want to say shalom to your brothers and sisters as well. My name is Dawah Dara from GMS Line, St. Louis Camp. And I'll come back at it with another video. In this video, I'm be doing a commentary over this uh, woman that you see. Um, you know, Tilla Tequila says uh, God makes black women bald headed, and I'm gonna just say from the top that title, and that's 100 percent correct. You know, the Lord did make you Israelite women uh, bald headed. You know, majority of you Israelite women. Um, well, it was yeah, some of you Israelite women. Uh, are bald and are losing your hair and all that, you know, um, you, know you perm your hair, uh, put blind streaks in it or whatever. But hey, spe specifically that uh, woman from the tribe of Judah, all right, the so-called black woman, um, a Negro woman, because you know you got a lot of you Haitian women and you uh, Benjamite women that suffer from that too, especially. The so-called black woman from the tribe of Judah. Why? Because she's the head tribe. And everybody follows Judah. You know, Judah is the head of the nation of Israel. All right. So I just want to say before I even start the video that she's 100% correct. But, um, well, I'm going to let it play. Then I'm going to pull a precepts and lower than this be edifying. So let's get it. Hey, guys, I'm back. So, uh, the Lord put this other thing in my heart. Um, you know, a lot of things I say obviously is very politically incorrect, but it does not matter because it comes straight from God's throne, from the courts of heaven, from God's very own words in his book, you know, uh, to cast out all these lies and uh, people who exalt themselves against the word of God. So, uh, there's this topic that nobody really likes to talk about, but it's very well known, uh, you know, the fact that most we most black women are bald and they don't understand why. They blame it on like, oh, we, we use too much chemicals for our hair, it's the glue and too much braiding. But that's not it because, you know, I, I did, I, when I was in Hollywood, I did all kinds of stuff to my hair all the time. I bleached it, you know, and it, it's, it's just not like that. It's only black women who grow bald. And let me tell you why, because let me tell you this first, uh, this verse her, here. But if a woman has long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given to her as a covering. 1 Corinthians eleven fifteen. So, you know, I, I have such long hair and it grows so fast all the time that I'm constantly having to cut it. As y'all see, it's constantly growing. Uh, and it says it is a glory to her, not to her shame. You know, and let me read this to y'all, this, uh, this little article I found. It says... A and and it's uh first corinthians eleven and uh fifteen and i and i and I just want to say this, yeah, that's a hundred percent correct, you know a woman's hair is given as a covering unto her, so let's go ahead and um hop into the scriptures real fast, so this is sec this is acts two and seventeen it shall come to pass in the last days because we're in the last days right now. Said Yahweh, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall see dreams. Shall dream dreams. Right? And on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. Right. <clears throat> and, you know, so that's what she doing now. You know, she prophesied. And... And if she is it, and if this lady is is an Israelite, all right, hey, you curse too, because you look like um, a Moabite, because we understand that a lot of you 
uh, you're gonna have a lot of Israelites that that look like other nations. All right, and I'm just throwing that out there. You know, um, I don't know if you my people or not. You you could be. I don't know, but um, it's 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 been a story in the Bible about a Moabite woman that that converted to uh, as you would as you people would say quote unquote Judaism. She started following. Uh, the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, you know. So, hey, she probably more bite, but hey, it really doesn't matter. But the <clears throat> uh, majority of the story is the moral story is is that uh, she's right. All right. A study three years ago of almost 6,000 women of African descent by Boston University Stone Etymology Center found that almost 48% of respondents had suffered hair loss on the crown or on the top of the head, mostly caused by attraction alopecia. That's not what it's caused by, but let me keep going. Given the topic tends to be shrouded in silence, the true figure may be higher. All of them. It says, if we all had to take off our wigs at work, eight out of ten women would have hair issues. It's just something we don't and won't talk about. We are very ashamed of it, says Band Bandal, this black woman. So she says, we are very ashamed of it. So see, God's people don't walk around feeling shameful. God's people are walking around filled with glory and long hair. See? But if a woman has long hair, it's a glory to her. But yet this black woman says, you know, all the black women feel, you know, shameful because they're bald. And I, as a woman, can understand because that's part of your beauty. It's part of, you know, just natural women, you know, having long hair. It's feminine. But without hair, you're just bald, nappy-headed, you know, crusty head, you know, walking around with your shame. Your shame will follow you everywhere you go, no matter how much money you try to buy, you know, to buy wigs. But before I go further... Let me read to you this verse that God himself did that to you. God Almighty, my husband, did that to you. Let me read to you what the Lord God says. Because remember, there's a lot of these, you know, you will know a man by his fruits. There's all these like black women claiming to be the bride of Christ. And many church people out there claiming Jesus was black. But to their shame, their shame follows them everywhere. You'll know a man by his fruits. Look at Africa. And now all the African women are bald headed. And this is what God says about that. I just want to say um, before she read that um, we're not Africans, all right? We Israelites. Ham, which are the so-called Africans, Canaanites, Ethiopians, Egyptians, uh, Sudanese, Libyans, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, we Israelites. Now we look similar, but we completely, totally different uh, seed line. Yeah, and I agree. A lot of those African women are bald head. You know, uh, it's a lot of Hamite women that don't have hair. And then again, some of them may be Israelites too. Because, you know, we, we got our people that are scattered down there amongst them. The Lord says, the women of Zion are haughty, walking around with outstretched necks. You know how they're always like this with the attitude? Yeah, and, and where did she get that from? She got that from um, watching the Hebrew Israelites. All right, because... Those are scriptures that they don't read in the churches, right? So, yeah, she was well, listening to, um, you know, you got plenty of Hebrew Israelite videos online. Your bald head black woman strikes again, blah, 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 blah. Um, you know, men of Great Millstone and men of other camps are always talking about that. So, so yeah, she got it from us. Hey, and this hey, and it's true. Like haughty haughtiness, okay? The women of Zion are haughty, walking along with outstretched necks, flirting with their eyes. So yeah, she said she got this from the throne, <laughs> the throne of God. He got this from the, the, the Israelites, the men, so called black, Hispanic, Native American men is out there on the streets teaching. And they got it from the um from the apostles and elders and you know and so on and so forth. And the actual man that got the breakdown, Abba Bivens, High Priest Jaiqua, High Priest Jariah, you know. 
strutting along with swaying hips, you know, all that twerking with ornaments jingling on their ankles. Therefore, the Lord, the Lord will bring sores on the heads of the women of Zion. The Lord will make their scalps bald. In that day, the Lord will snatch away her, their finery, the bangles and headbands and crescent necklaces, the earrings and bracelets and veils, the headdresses and anklets and sashes, and perfume bottles and charms, the signet rings and nose rings, the fine robes and the capes and cloaks, the purses and mirrors and the linen garments and tiaras and shawls. Instead of fragrance, there will be a stench. Instead of a sash, a rope. Instead of well-dressed hair, baldness. Instead of fine clothing, sackcloth. Instead of beauty, branding. Your men will fall by the sword, your warriors in battle. Well, burning, it's supposed to be burning. I'm, I'm pretty sure she's not reading from the King James Version. Uh, reading another version, but yeah, it says burning instead of uh, uh, the Lord has discovered her secret parts, you know. So yeah, uh, breast, butt, uh, stomach. You know, because a lot of our women got, you know, uh, saggy breast. <laughs> this is why all the black men kill themselves a lot. This because it's God's judgment. You're no, it's not the black men killing themselves. Uh, um, you know, even though our eyes evil towards our brothers, that's the curse in Deuteronomy 28 and 54, I believe. Um, you got black men kill, killing each other, you know, and that that's going to go into um, in, in the last days where uh, Esau is going to uh, roll in on our people and start putting them to death. All right, because the uh, this second lockdown already finna happen. This uh, this new variant, and yeah, the, and and these laws gonna be more uh more strict than the uh, last ones. So yeah, then then our people is gonna die. Your men will fall by the sword. Your warriors in battle. The gates of Zion Zion will lament and mourn. Destitute, she will sit on the ground. Ooh. This is Isaiah. I'll leave it in the description box. So you see, that's about all the black women and those who follow their trends. Even all the Hollywood women, they all, every single one of them have to wear hair weaves, hair extensions, you know, because the, this is all the black women. So it's a shame that they go around still claiming to be, you know, God's bride and this and that, but yet they're bald. God beautifies his people. He beautifies us with his salvation, his armor of righteousness, his glory, uh, even the simple things as long hair. You know, he beautifies his bride. <laughs> Surely he beautifies his own people. But to the wicked, your shame will follow you. So a lot of people don't want to talk about this because it is a shameful topic. It's embarrassing. And, you know, imagine being on a date with someone and then you try to make out with her and then her hair, and like her whole wig falls off on your bed like a dead rat <laughs> it's it's not sexy it's not it's not good it's not beautiful you know men want to run their hair and their woman's hair their hands in their hair you know beautiful you would pull on it a little bit <laughs> but you know when you pull on it, their hair is like the wig falls out and then scabies and, and all kinds of scabs on their head scalps bald so this is the word of the Lord. So this is why, uh, this is their shame that follows them. Because that's why God said they can sit that sit out there and post all these videos, say all these things in the church congregations, act all wickedly out there. But to those of us with eyes to see, the Lord says, you will know a man by his fruits. When you look at them, you'll see the shame. Follow them everywhere they go. No matter what they claim, no matter what they do, God's word is like heaping burning coals of fire on their heads. All right? Cause so, therefore, the Lord will bring sores on the heads of the women of Zion. The Lord will make their scalps bald. There's no one more bald than the black women, you know, so y'all need to think about this and repent and wonder and ask yourself why, because you might, you know, I'm sure you do feel the most oppressed out of all mankind, because it's true, but you have to think about why, why, do you think, are you trying to say God is not just in his dealings with you, is God cruel, and is he not righteous in his dealings with you? 
Okay, guys, so that's all I wanted to say. And, and the Lord is just in all his dealings. But, um, and yeah, you 100% right, uh, Tila Tequila. But I got a question for you. It's Matthew 7 and 1. Judge not that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. Now why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considers not the being that is in thy own eye? Right? And if I'm not mistaken, you, you had a, a dating show back in the day where you was dating women and men. All right? So, like, here it is. You're talking about the Israelite woman. And I don't know if you're an Israelite woman or not. I don't, I don't know. I doubt it. But <clears throat> like, like, like I said, like, let's say that you are for the sake of the video, hypothetically speaking. All right? You was dating men and women. And now, uh, according to the Bible, homosexuality, that's a sin that's worthy of death. Because the Lord don't play about that shit. Let's read on. Well, how would thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the mote of, of thy eye, and behold, a beam is in thy own eye. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam of thy own eye, and then thou shalt see clearly to cast out the beam of thy brother's eye. Right? So, um, you know, so you, you can judge... You know, we're not saying that you can't judge because you can, but you got to make sure that you on point. Now, I don't know if you're doing that now. Hey, I'm hoping after all the spiritual talk that you done talked is that you did repent, that you're not carpet munching no more. It says, um. Romans 1 and 25, who changed the truth of the most high into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, the most high gave them up to vile affections. Even their women did change the natural use into that, that which is against nature. Right. Against nature. Because uh, uh, two women can't bring forth life. You know, life don't come from you. You, um, you women. Life comes from. Life comes from the man. Like you women, you just bring it forth. You know, it you are incubated. It grows inside you. And likewise, also the man leaving the natural use of the woman burned in her lust one towards another. Men with men working at which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meat. Right. And um, I'm not going to read it all. But God, so yeah, so you got to repent too. Tila Tequila, you know. Because, um, yeah, because a, a lot of you American women are are uh, bisexuals. And that's off according to the scriptures. Lamentations 4 and 1. How has the gold become dim? How has the most fine gold changed? The stones of the sanctuary are poured out in the top of every street. The precious sons of Zion, comparable to fine gold, how are they esteemed as earthen pitchers, the work of the hands of the potter? Right. And and how we like that right now, because we disobeyed the laws and commandments of the Heavenly Father. You know, he allowed our enemies to take hold on us and to rule over us and to judge us. You know, verse three, even the sea monsters draw out the breast and give suck to the young ones. The daughter of my people has become cruel. Like the ostriches in the wilderness. The tongue of the sucking child cleave to the root of his mouth for thirst. The young children ask bread and no man breaketh it unto them. All right. They that did feed delicately are desolate in the streets. And they were brought up in scarlet embraced dung hills. For the punishment of the iniquity of the daughter of my people is greater than the punishment of the sin of Sodom. That was overthrown as in a moment, and no hand stayed on her. Right. Says, I'm reading it again. For the punishment of the iniquity of the daughter of my people, right? So the punishment, you know, of the iniquity. And iniquity is uh sin stacking on top of sin. So sin after sin after sin after sin after sin. You're doing like four, five uh sins at once. All right. It's greater than the punishment of the sin of Sodom, right? And Sodom is um was uh uh, was a city full of homosexuals, 
All right, so the Lord is more mad at you Israelite women than he was mad at those uh, Sodomites in the land of Sodom, right? And we know what they was doing, and and um, that was a city that was overthrown by fire, all right? And what you think is going to happen in the near future to this place and you people in it? All right, the Lord gonna purge y'all with fire. Y'all gonna get thrown in the lake of fire. So yeah, she right. So you gotta examine yourself. You know, like see what type of woman that that you are, because uh, that neck rolling, bone quisha, sharkisha attitude. You know, attitude that that shit ain't gonna fly. All right, that shit gonna burn. So. Got to examine yourselves, you know, just use this video as um, a reason to humble yourself because the Lord is using all type of people to bring out the word now, you know, because, um, you know, the Lord putting the spirit out on all flesh. So you got to examine yourself. Let's end it off with that. Lord willing. It should be second Corinthians 13 and five. Yep. Yeah. Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves? How that ye how shall my shackles in you, except ye be reprobates. Right. So you gotta examine yourself whether you be in the faith. You know. You can't be an Israelite woman and you know, bucking up against your husband and giving him attitude and all that. You know. You gotta examine yourself whether you be in the uh, faith. You know, if your husband is treating you uh, bad, I hey, pray to the Lord and or just talk to him, you know, or both. Pray to the Lord, talk to him, you know, see if y'all can come to an understanding. Because the Lord uh, says that's a beautiful thing for a, a, a man and a woman that agree together. You know what I'm saying? Verse 6, but I trust that ye know that we are not reprobates. Now, I pray to the most high that you do no evil, that we should both, it's like you, that we should appear approved, but that ye should do that which is honest, we though we be as reprobates, right? But well, we can do nothing against the truth before the truth, right? So this truth that's coming out, hey, you're gonna have to uh mold to it. Or else. Either you're gonna mold and accept it or be destroyed. So I definitely give all praise on and glory to you. Hope this edifying shalom.